Good evening to all. Welcome to weekly webinar series hosted by IEEE Malaba Subsection. Today we have a, a talk on the topic customer centric digital transformation. It's our 21st talk on this uh, webinar series and this topic highlights the transformation from manual process to digital process as well as transformation from older technology to newer technology. This topic also relates how these changes are customer oriented. So all these points will be discussed in this uh, section. For this, we have an eminent speaker uh, from Software's uh, wing, Mr. Yakesh Nihalil Adavala, uh, uh, on behalf of IEEE Malaba subsection. I welcome you, sir, to this section. Also, I welcome all the participants to this section. So before we start this uh, section, uh, I'll give a brief introduction about our speaker to the audience. So Mr. Rakesh Nyal Adwala took his diploma in computer science and engineering from the Department of Technical Education, Government of Kerala, and uh, his BE degree from Periyar University, Tamil Nadu. He is a certified uh, Scrum Master, SAF Agile Certified Cloud Architect, uh, Digital Transformation Specialist uh, Professional with 16 years of experience in solution architecture. He is also an expertise in various technologies like AWS, Azure Cloud, Net.net, Netcore, C-Hash, MVC, ASAPNet, Python 3.5, Panda, and SharePoint 2013. He had worked with MicroView Technologies Private Limited Singapore, HP Private Limited Singapore, Sony Precision Engineering Center Singapore, Wipro Technologies, IBS Software Services before joining with uh, Ernest and Yen. Currently, he is working as assistant manager technology in Ernest and Yen. Uh, he had taken up several uh, other on site projects in Japan, Australia, USA, Germany, Indonesia, and Singapore during its long years of service. So, on behalf of uh, IEEE Malaba subsection, I welcome you, sir, again. So, over to you, sir. You can start. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Sadiq, for this. Uh, and all. Uh, thank you all for giving me this chance. So as you mentioned, I'm Rakesh, around 16 years experience in this industry. So today we are talking about customer-centric digital transformation. So there is no question we are in the digital era, especially after this pandemic age. Even education system, they completely moved to digital uh, digital system. Now no one is no more thinking about uh, 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 going back from digital age. So previously we used to tell don't give mobiles or computer to the kids. Now we are encouraging more to use it and adapt the information. Actually, according to me, that's correct. Previously to get an information, we have to search thousand books or maybe we have to depend on a library. Maybe we have to wait for another week to get the information. Now the information is very easy. Just Google it. Previously, I know if I have, I have a spelling problem or I have to know the meaning, I have to go through the dictionary, so the pages, sometimes we will find it, sometimes we will not, then we have to depend on someone else. Now in the digital age, the information is fast. Some of the studies tell that current age kids are much growing faster in the information and other things because they are gathering the information uh, through different media. In our age, maybe we had only uh, radios, maybe uh, TV that we will get the news or other technology really slowly. So we are really learning the Our brain is in the information flow. We are growing really according to the uh, information wise. But in this age, it's very fast. So uh, this is the digital age. There is no question. So all the industry is transforming from one age to another age for past uh, uh, few years. Mm. So we are in the um, third, uh, fourth industrial revolution. Now we can tell like industry four revolution is going on. Even the other the technologies they are trying to adopt, um, technologies, all the um, uh, industries that, that are in production, they are also ad adopting the digital technologies and uh, maturing faster. So we can tell it like that. So in this case, we can see like only from uh, uh, from this third industrial revolution from 1950s or 1960s, we can tell we are moving to the digital 
age. So these two ages, third and fourth industrial revolution, we can tell like it's a digital age, and we are now we are in the digital transformation. For easiness, we can divide it into three parts. And even though there is four different revolution, for us it's mainly into four areas, the three areas we can divide: industrial revolution, information revolution, and digital revolution. So, what is industrial revolution? All the technologies, everything is coming up. Also, customers are also only demanding the only the basic necessity. They are not thinking about uh, high quality or basic farming or anything should get improved to the next stage. That's the only aim. Everything, any technology, even if radio, we are thinking about the basic sound should come, music should come. They are not thinking about very quality of the uh, audio, easiness of the audio, nothing. Then information resolution happened after a period. Uh, that information revolution, what happened, the basic uh, stand, uh, people are not, even customers are changing a lot. Actually, people's mentality is changing. People are uh, expecting more standards. They want base, uh, not only they are not uh, thinking about basic necessities, they need more and more um, standard of service. If you go to a particular shop, we are expecting, a, if you take a product, we are expecting a, um, otherwise, the companies are out. We are not. Uh, so data was on that age. The data was very uh, uh, owned by few centers. They are not flexible to arrange. It's not available for everyone for free. Information is concentrated on few companies, uh, especially Microsoft, IBM kind of companies have lots of information, but they are holding it with them. They are not sharing it because that's the in, uh, information. Aim. Even where you have to take a degree or you have to go to a university to get the education. Now uh, we are moving from data is central, but we are not much uh, concentrating on we, uh, our, we are driven by uh, data, but we are not concentrated or we are not living on the data. Data is there, uh, data is driving this resolution, revolution, but we are not living on that uh, data on top because data is almost free. Even if, if you take the education, if you go to a, uh, any YouTube site or any site, most of the education is free, even Udemy or uh, so many sites are giving free information. Information is almost free. Even people's information, it's freely available. But there is anything. So people also in the digital age, people's mentality is changed. They are not uh, thinking about a standard. They are not only thinking about the basic needs. They want easiness. They want quality. They want everything to be easy. I don't want to go to a shop and buy something. I want easy buy, like uh, Amazon or a mobile shop. So we are thinking about easy thing. That's actually have a lot of advantages also. So um, so what is in this uh, revolution on, onwards, digital revolution age we can tell. So next we will go to digitization, digitalization and digital transformation. So digitization is just converting the data in from physical format or analog format to digital format and store it. Digitization reverts to enabling and improving the process by leveraging the digital technologies and digital data. Therefore, uh, digitali uh, digitalization will help. So digital transformation is, uh, is actually not adopting the technology or adopting some uh, something which we need, uh, uh, this new technology or some uh, new technical things in the business. It's about a digital transformation. It's all about uh, transforming our business into different. Uh, so in digital transformation, specifically about, uh, not about IT or technology gathering, it's about uh, redefining our entire business strategy based on the digital transformation. So I'll tell it clearly based on the banking experience. So banking experience, you know, in the first stage, they done a digitization. All our records, they converted into computer information. They scanned it, they outsourced it. There is some strikes and all went in Kerala. So banks outsourced their digital work. So they all the records they entered in the computer, they started storing it. It's helped them a little bit. Then digitalization happened. All the computer banking transformation is happening digital, but customers, as an end customer, we don't have an impact. Business never changed. We have to stand in the queue. 
maybe the clerk or the manager or uh, service provider is using a computer so they are not giving much impact to us we have to provide everything manual we have to go and take photo stat and uh, uh, we have to provide everything manual there is no impact on the business model business model is same we have to go to a bank apply for the loan we have to sign in thousand papers we have to wait for uh, bring the so there is digitalization happen yeah little bit fastness happen actually it actually helped only the business and customer don't have actually some of the companies or banks they reduce the number of staff workforce and they gain the profit what about uh, end customer so digital transformation helps in this area from digitalization digital, uh, digital transformation customer having the benefits like i uh, for getting a bank loan i don't want to go and stand in the big queue or i have to go thousand times and submit last time i took a bank loan they told uh, they come to my office to take some few signature then told me okay just send us from your mail so give your email id once we register we will get a, get a confirmation um, just send the documents over email id well, within 3 days your uh, loan is got processed even i don't know i think uh, company uh, collected the money once i got uh, delivered from them i was not very less involved so that is one kind of digital transformation not only in this area even any bank uh, bringing the um, mobile banking everything customers have in the center not their process is improving also customers are getting benefits customers are happy we can give in this age so in this age one of the things very um, we will tell digital revolution also people like to call it as social re uh, revolution uh, so why because uh social transform uh, social revolution is uh, social age we are in the social age previously a customer is unhappy we will uh, just inform one vendor or one friend or few members in the family maximum it will reach thousand people but if nowadays if something happen if you go to the facebook or instagram or uh, last door anywhere if you put that uh, feedback uh it will spread like anything digital transformation is the pro so we are thinking only on digital transformation now so digital transformation pro, uh, using digital technologies to create uh, or to modify the existing business process culture and customer experience to meet the business uh, changing business market and requirement so uh, digital transformation as i told we have to be redefine the models one of the business model we can tell like uh, uh, uber they have come a complete new business strategy they are not in a single car but they are run, uh, running a car business how they can able to so they bring a business they bring the technology everything but they never kept on technology side we don't know what technology they are using but they kept everything on the center customer is on the center so we know it's a transparent digital transformation companies to change their business models also this is a transparent age like uh, we can see what is the rating of the car driver we can okay we can avoid him or we can tell okay what is the feedback of the customer uh, what is the feedback immediately they know if we have some mm, some issues we can inform the uh, so this is a complete transformation of the business so digital technology adoption is very easy it's available everywhere in this world even if you go to a startup small startup startups are not wrong but if you go to a very small paying company uh, we don't need to go to a corporates like number one or three companies layer three companies we can go to any uh, small companies and can tell them they will adopt all these technologies and in this age companies are not on size or volume based on the innovation so small companies are bringing the things fast you can go to them please bring something new to me they will provide this very fast they don't wait for years or months so but bringing that uh, technology is easy there is nothing too much to do in the age in previous ages when we have to do bring a technology we have to go for a training it uh, actually happens 3 days or 5 days 7 days training then we will get another 1 to 3 1 to 3 months activity to adopt to the technology nowadays yeah you take one or two hours from our break uh, read it through the document on the way you google it and do it you have the idea technology switching is fast 
the technology is switching is not very important information is free of cost so concentrating on information sitting on the data oh, i have this much data i have learned this much that's not important anymore so how we are bringing that for the business value that is important we have so many technologies with us but how we can bring it to the business that is um, uh, very important so defining the digital strategy is important first step to the digital transformation so every company should have its own strategy strategy we can define very easily but it should be customer centric uh, it should be easily if you are a service provider company you have to think about your service provider also you have to think about your end customer so when we are in the travel industry so don't feel like this aeg will repeatedly in business revolution uh, this age will go through three four times industrial revolution information revolution so even i think in 90s also some companies are only in the digital revolution age like travel industry flight industry when we go to the flight uh, they will behave very they are not they, okay they are giving the basic facilities you have to be happy with this but that changed very fast from 90s to 2000 very easily it started industrial revolution 90 30 took them but it within 10 for 100 uh, 10 to 20 years uh, some uh, travel industry changed very fast now they are very easy they are very uh, they are thinking about your uh, comfort what is the feedback even uh, everything they are concentrating much so digital transformation is uh, reinventing the uh, fundamental changes how to organize and deliver value to the customers so digital transformation is specifically about it or technology it's about redefining the entire business strategy and even changing the corporate culture so this is important your strategy is changed your attitude towards employees same the end customer is going to get that only if you shouted at your employee in the morning and he is expecting to deliver best customer centric experience that's not possible so everywhere so everywhere we have to change not in mm, company also we have to be more courageous also support the courageousness so we we should be ready to fail then only new innovation will come any innovation will go through two three failures if a employee is failing two times okay you are rating is zero you are going no there is no innovation is not going to come so everywhere digital transformation we have to think from scratch everywhere in the company the strategy should change and um, corporate strategy should change first then business process to uh, change then we have to change the work culture marketing capabilities roles and skills everything should change not only changing the skills and adopting some technology or we are in the tran digital transformation age no we are out you are only in the one one evolution back you are only adopting the technologies back but that age is over because adopting the technology is fast information is free so where we have to be there should be a corporate strategy so this bench of transformation should start from the desk of c people so what is c people cx level so previously uh, uh, we used to heard like ceo uh, cto now companies are bringing on cdo uh chief digital officers digital transformation officer or digital officers they are uh, corporate demands are going high so they are fighting mm, corporate demands are very high pressure from the market competitors everything they have to observe and bring the new strategies every moment corporate strategy for one year maybe or uh, three months business strategy is for few months but this is for every moment how the market is varying how can we bring to the uh, catch to the market even small small uh, people small small providers have to think on that so uh, everyone in the ceo level cto level cdo level everyone should understand digitalization set formal context for digital transformation companies everyone should be able to a formal context yeah i am doing this digital transformation it's formal so i am ready you are because company is allowing me to do lead the change so bring the change and lead the change in front don't hesitate to change bring the change fast to the market otherwise you are out so if you are not purely into a technical company so you can outsource the technologies 
you need to adopt all the technology. It's not possible in this digital age because the, the technology is fastly growing. We can't concentrate on technologies. It will take another years to ramp up a team with the technology. So outsource some of the areas which is not very prominent or which you are not feeling like, okay, this is not the piece of my bread, but I need that for customer centricity. Please um, go to the digital uh, world and you to outsource that. These all strategic decisions is happening. So no companies are stuck on the technology. Oh, I don't have uh, digital engineers or I don't have board, chatbot engineers. I don't have this, that. So outsource it or bring the technology very fast and bring the uh, technology. Changes in this digital information world uh, is very fast. Digital information and digitalization changing the world 10 times faster, three time, uh, 300 times uh, in scale, 3000 times in impact. No need to think very high to understand this. Just think about our storage devices. We are started with 5 KB memory stick to 1 TB memory stick. That's happened in a very few uh, years. When I start, uh, when I was in young age, TV came after that uh, 10, 15 years, nothing happened from change to the color black and white to uh, some color TV happened. Then after long years, a pager came from pager to this age. It is so tremendously fast. Pager came around 90, uh, 94 or 96, those age, I think. Then to this age, you see mobile came, smartphones came, even tabs came, um, everything, everything. Even if you want to a full uh, computing, you can do it in some of the mobiles now. There is no anything to me. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, uh, carry so on. Since 2050, our fossil companies have gone to bankrupt or not exist and not uh, or not got merged. Even you who see the, um, I don't need to think very high in this area also. You think one of the uh, famous uh, email providers that does not exist in this age. They never concentrate on customer centric. In, in between, they thought like uh, getting some fees from the customers or pushing lots of ads, loading half an hour to, uh, when, then the Google came in between. They came up with a search engine, although they came up with um, a, uh, but they have done a strategy. The uh, information is free. They are getting the information. They are utilizing the information and uh, Unfortunately or unfortunately, 72 to 80 percent of people are ready to willing to share their data. Even in this pandemic age, I think once the disease comes, no one is hiding. They are ready to share their information to increase the capabilities of this world to share this. So there is uh, nothing to hide in this digital age. Even if one got spread, it will go through WhatsApp messages, Facebook, everywhere. Even uh, this ages is good, uh, the socialization ages I told. Now, no medias can hijack us. Previously ads are coming through me medias, three or four uh, choices only we have. So otherwise we have to go to in front of a shop and wait for another three, four days and uh, study, request with them, understand them. Nowadays information is coming on your mobile itself, you can do it. So they bring, these guys have the brain, the real business uh, change. They bring the new business model. So that they rule this world within very short span of time. Amazon, Uber, Airbnb, Alibaba. One of the amazing thing is Alibaba uh, is not holding a single inventory. It's just a platform to sell and um, say Airbnb is not uh, holding any hotels. Um, Uber, they are not holding a taxi or a car or a driver. They are not uh, even uh, don't have a driver, but they use the technologies and they done the digital transformation. They didn't done the digitalization. If they done the digitalization, what they will do? They will buy 10 cars. They will buy 10 drivers. Then they will give some WhatsApp or a, 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 a booking page, a um, web page. User can do their book and wait for three days. That's not the business change happened. Digital transformation is a very clear example of Uber and uh, Amazon and all. 
they were airbnb they never uh, build a hotel or they lease the hotel they book the website that's not digital transformation digital transformation is bringing the new digital era new digital uh, form new digital model of business every companies are forced to that so people are not uh, so in this age the information is free and uh, everyone is uh, thinking on data but we are not in the data centric age so but stream data stream processing uh, with uh, i just bring the technology separately as i told so i am on the way i'm uh, discussing the technologies also technology is not part of out of business nowadays it's part of business technology is an integral part of business customer centricity and uh, business models are important so i can't bring out even to a next slide or another slide so in this age the data is coming from everywhere so now we are not thinking about processing the data after storing it after one week or one year we are still processing it and immediately the data is coming immediately we can process it on the network itself stream data processing even almost all the uh, amazon cloud azure cloud all are uh, providing these facilities and um, one of the biggest advantages is uh, we can uh, do uh, when uh, when customers have feedbacks when we come to our system previously customer got a complaint so our service engineers or uh, service providers will support that but nowadays the data is not for uh, providing the support we can understand from where the data is coming what time it is coming which region is coming is it because of something um, uh, related to a particular region or data particular kind of customers even age group yeah if a mobile phone have lot of issues with or a particular age group we have to reinnovate for that they are also providing lot of business one of the customers in uh, australia we went with the digital i was part of one of my previous organization i was part of digital innovation group we are uh, bringing the digital technologies for the companies they are not in the market um, more the uh, technical world they are supporting the travel companies to bring the digital technologies digital transformation so when we went with them they told all our customers are about 60 or 70 age we don't need a chatbot but we need better customer satisfaction we want to give better customer feedback how can we or we want more fast processing then we work together and we came up with a uh, instead of chatbot we come up with a mailbot customers are ready to send her uh, send the emails in a customer uh, in a specific format they did not type a rigid format it's not like an excel sheet of column they can type it in human language using but we have some uh, specific fields required we mentioned then nltk using the nltk we able to bring then we used to give the fee uh, immediately some cases we can so data is important here we are collecting the data so there is a process in digital transformation age get the data another thing we have to protect the data very clearly you are ready to share the uh, information for good cause but if used for bad use you people will yeah. lose the um, reliability on it they will try to find from where the uh, data is losing they also have their own source somehow they find it they will you all your business will collapse in a minute so you have to protect that data so data um, protection is very important whenever a customer is ready to share the data keep it for the purpose they provided okay i am going to info use your information for this particular analysis which we can give a better way yeah that's good then <clears throat> analyze the data then utilize the data so we don't need to um, nowadays protect the data analyze the data this all are happening in the stream analysis itself so one of the studies tells like this cloud computing actually bring a lot of leverage to this digital transformation because computing power is increasing a lot previous days i remember when we are supporting some of the world's biggest um, retail shops uh, we will start a lockdown around june time june time we will uh, lock all our changes there is no more deployments then we will try to stabilize the servers it will take another 3 months then we will scale up it based on the previous years that uh, then we are going on the uh, preparing for next year maybe if there is a 10 to 20 percentage increment we will put if it go beyond that system crashes so
So each and every minute we are losing around hundred or thousand millions of dollars worldwide. So instead of that, after coming this cloud computing, we don't need to think about this old age of uh, we are not locking even one uh, one month before. I think December time, actually in November uh, last only or November first we will lock the changes. We will do a trial of study. Then even ten or twenty percent days, this scaling up will happen very fast. We can scale to any range. So uh, data processing is also fast. If I am booking a system, even if I talk in front of a mobile, I think they are bringing the recommendations uh, to the system very fast. Maybe very um, exaggerated, but one of my friends he told he's pure vegetarian. But one of the customer visit happened. He discussed to his wife. Uh, about a non-vegetarian hotel, but when he ba reached back the home, opened the mobile, there is an ad of that hotel. So if you are telling, okay, Google or uh, um, okay Siri or uh, um, Amazon product, uh, then they are hearing it always. So they are using this data. That recommendation systems are always good. You can understand what is your need. Your someone is supporting you. So. If they are not misusing this data, for sure, that's the importance of protecting the customer needs, for, for protect the customer centricity. Um, so customer should be in your mind. Even if you are using the data, oh, I want to make some money, I will sell this data, or I will misuse this data. That's your mentality. Digital transformation is uh, washing you out of this world in the business world. But if you are using the data properly to analyze. Okay, I am giving you the real service. If you want, if I want to search for a washing machine, I don't want to bother about just search for washing machine. Next day, you will get almost all the comparison. I don't need to stand in front of the store. So stream data, data processing is very important. I think Azure, Amazon, Cloud, Google, every every provider, IBM Cloud, everything is providing lots of data. So how to uh, use the data properly? That is also very important. It's uh, eighty-six percentage of AE, uh, CEI survey tells it is are willing to pay more for better customer experience. As I told, we are more thinking about more uh, mm, more facilities in this world, more easiness in this world, just standard or just you know, not feeling the customer centric. So this is customer centric uh, digital transformation. Customer is on the center. Every process. Every procedure, every um, customer service, every business strategy, everything should be. We will think what is customer, what they want, how they are thinking. Because customers are our uh, our economy is actually driven by the customers. Actually, 2000, uh, I think 2009 economic crisis actually tells the customers don't have, doesn't have money to rotate. The, all the business is closing. Even million dollar companies are vanishing, struggling to survive. So we have to do things about digital transformation. Digital transformation uh, is the age of digital era is bringing new kind of business. Every companies have to think every time. I was working in an MSP uh, multifunctional printer domain for long years. But immediately by 2009 onwards, our uh, industry is vanishing because no one is buying the printers anymore. If you bring around million dollars to innovate a new thermal printer, they are, all of our uh, economy was thinking about erasable printers. Once you print, we can erase it. But that innovation had not stopped in between because. That's we are thinking a limited dimension. I think because there is no meaning of erasable printer. There is no printing anymore. My kid is asking me, please give me the mobile phone or laptop. I want to do my homework. Today I told her I want my personal laptop of yours. Your homework should be get delayed because of my session. That's a, because everyone is dependent on even if you want to search for a, a thing, they are not going to take a book. So everything is digitally centric and everything is uh, this way driven. 70 percentage of companies that deliver exceptional customer experience use customer feedback. So uh, you can think like uh, um, Trivago is one example, mainly on customer feedback and are providing. Uh, uh, so most of the travel-based booking engines they are providing based on the customer feedback, customer experience. Based on that, the rating is come. Based on that, our properties have better value. 
even uh, all my uh, all the airlines they are taking the customer feedback very fastly if there is any negative comments uh, we will flash it in the um, news the, or in the central so they are all worried about it so every customer is uh, trying to collect the uh, customer feedback utilize it previously we used to write our feedback in a book that will book will be replaced after one month once the uh, pages are got filled but now it's in an information age we can filter. we can even some companies are doing filtration if there is any abrupt comments we will try to vanish it uh, from seeing to the outside world that's also happening but they can utilize it properly how much we can hide thousand ten lakhs after that what will do so better uh, so there will be if i remove all the feedback what it means no one is visiting my company uh, my property or my service so it is a negative impact so we can't bring all the things together so we have to bring the customer centric feedback and customer centric approach what the customers are making angry or what what making customers ease that we have to always uh, think and give the support and service very easily once we give that uh, previously if i got a customer feedback there is no follow up nowadays we can give the follow up policy 79 a uh, percent of the us customers want brands to be demonstrate they care before they will do consider making a purchase and uh, one of the studies tells that 80 percent of the purchase happening in the back end even b2b business not the b2c b2b is also happening like that they are doing social media they are doing lot of research on the back end then they are taking a decision so decision making and strategy making in this customer uh, this digital era is important one of the example is uh, microsoft itself they are huge and giant nowadays also there is no um, question on that they are the good people they are doing well business but in the mobile world they took a different strategy they told like no no one is going to use uh, personal mobiles for computation so there is no use immediately another um, androids and other companies came up then that competency got delayed they are uh, struggling in that area every company is have to think every moment so customer uh, centric companies are 50% they are more profitable than companies that are not focused on the this is from deloitte itself so the no need to be uh, so it's very authentic information we can tell so like companies are 50% more profitable than customers so just we want to focus on customer centric digital transformation changing is driven by the customers okay i am the owner of the company i am taking a decision even microsoft failed in that don't need to worry about our small small business or any other transformation also customer centric digital transformation can bring the business back also so we can bring the new business model one of the digital technology bomber digital touch mobiles and the technology apple introduced uh, and during that time he was waiting and he gave a new model for the customers they accepted it that's one of the um, major innovation happened in the near or one of the best business model happened in the near future so we can bring a new business model what customers are not thinking we can bring based on their thoughts bring the easiness uh, during that time i think um, they bring some apple pads or uh, small small devices then they move to complete mobile so that strategy is very correct they moved in the correct strategy and they bring the correct thing so organization must customer central to the organization must take the business by keeping the customer central to digital transformation and active to the various cycles so they should be active to various cycles being customer centric means putting the customer at the um for friend for every single decision you uh, your company makes so digital values data technology everything on the circle around the customer so previously when you used to draw uh, i think the five years back or uh, six years back when i used to draw the diagram data is the center data centric uh, experience will come data will bring the business and all other support that uh, data but in this case data is uh, peripheral to the customer needs so data protection is very important that we have to be very keep in mind every moment we have to think about customers data is valuable than anything else in a company never feel so when we are designing an application we are not thinking uh, around 20 to 30 percentage of the effort we are putting 
the not for scaling up or other things that's all taken care by the technology how to protect the data how to keep the information secret how to keep but if even if a flight booking happens the data we are storing maximum we will avoid only the only we will avoid the uh, uh, digital, uh, uh, payment information so uh, companies are doing lot of efforts even companies are analyzing from which stage customer is uh, backing out payment page or they are doing in the or they are uh, struggling in the search page or they are uh, entering in the information page where they are struggling where is the maximum time they took where they are coming out so one of the customer they asked me is it possible to have a single click book so i asked how it's possible single click we want to book something then our digital innovation group sit together we discuss then we went back to the what you mean by single click he told there are lot of travelers regularly traveling every day not not in this pandemic time or some but in the business a business time normal times they are traveling every week there is a pattern for that every monday they will go for a business every friday they will return it back some of them they will start their journey on the uh, sunday night and they will try to return on the uh, friday night there is a pattern so they don't need to go and wait for the if the ceo of a company is traveling there will be some support engineers waiting for them because his uh, travel to strategy everything can change or he want the in a last minute booking here he is and like book me a ticket for last moment so he it will check what is your try okay last few history of that 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 is in both doubt but there are a lot of complication but it can happen in the near future i can tell because what is your travel history okay yeah now itself it's happening we want to go to uh, i'm uh, always try to travel to the mountain stations for my vacations always select some uh, beach sites or mountains not the very city centers so once i go to some of my um, sites automatically all the hotels and other things are coming from that side i mean i'm not a very frequent traveler but you think those who are very regularly to traveling they are getting almost which time you want okay preferred times are also there business people will not travel in any time they will be off business time they that will be end of the business days after the meeting generally they will select that time okay automatically booking is done even uh, uber i think last bookings are showing i can select one of the destination uh, and i mean it's happening almost one click booking one way it's happening in uh, uber case i am feeling but that can can bring to the customer so customer is centric data is peripheral to them that's what i'm trying so this what i told try to tell till the customer expectation is changed that word is wrong i done it by mistake customer expectation is changing every day every minute customer expectation have been changed not customer expectation human fundamental human expectation itself is changed previous days if i want to buy something yeah take a bag go to the shop wait for five hours uh, maybe customer uh, means that uh, shop provider maybe went for a tea break i have to wait for another three hours for a half an hour please come back after half an hour i face it i think literally i face it Ah, okay. Even for a coffee, come back after a few hours. Yeah, I went home and come back nowadays. Okay, take the phone and um, take the nurse. Uh, the customer expectation is changing. I don't want to go to a you know nearby mobile shop and wait for that. I have all the options in front of me. If I to go to a shop and tell tell to take third uh, uh, phone or fourth phone, their uh, service will get changed. But for uh, my searching experience, it's not changing. which is good which is bad i am not discussing here i am discussing about digital era and digital transformation everything has its own good and bad so uh, previously customer cycle is like this i took this photo most of the uh, photos that have attention in the uh, tagging point actually with limited time i took some of the most of them from net only Uh, actually, these informations are uh, all available in the net. I just explained all these things through my experience, which I have got. So one of the experience, this one, he has helped me is in the digital pricing experience. One of the system I developed very dear that um, pricing optimization. That I'll explain after explaining this. Discover, explore, buy. That's uh, that's the engage. This is the business model now. 
view i told na 80% of the business is happening in the back end itself they read the reviews they like to uh, like on facebook they go to um, if i want going to amazon site i will review the what is the review what is the customer feedback what is the five point people told what is the one point people told if one point people told is more relevant for me maybe only do comment if it's relevant for me i will not purchase that item why should i take a risk i go for another one which is not happening onto to my interest purchase row call center or anything can happen is this purchase call center we can't stop i heard like 60 to 70 people just about 60 70 people they are not ready waiting they like uh, <clears throat> call center purchase but now now the new generation some generation they like to buy over phone some generation uh, like to buy through um, computer uh, so everything we can uh, omni channel uh, experience we have to uh, uh, give and uh, one of the thing uh, in related to this is uh, digital uh, means um, the uh, pricing optimization so what is pricing optimization if you go to a site if you go to one site if it's showing 99 rupees another site we, we same product same time same uh, everything 99 uh, 98 dollar we will buy 98 roller so companies are using all this information collecting all this information and competing in the uh, pricing listing uh, using the real time listing that is the streaming data so that is a very effective in the flight uh, flying industries and uh, hotel booking industries if you go and search for compare two three rates you will get the better rate that why right. trivago and all they are just so omni's channel is what what i told all the uh, uh, seamless experience regardless of channel they are not worried about which channel we are using they are uh, only um, connect all the channels and bring the best uh, uh, best out of it they want must uh, multiple channel experience if i am at home i like to buy from my laptop if i am on outside i like to buy from my mobile if i am in uh, if i am going to a mall i like to buy from my shop everything every experience i want so only one particular experience can bring back that's why amazon also starting some um, uh, some supermarkets that's very digitally enabled in our company itself they bring not amazon another provider they bring me bring us just uh, scan your qr code in the mobile open it take the items automatically that uh, a purchased bill will come to my bill and it will be deducted from my salary or i can load in the wall and can buy whatever i want it's actually real time experience we have they are using some sensors cameras all to the i can be whatever i want once i open and close that till that my responsibility of taking the item so that's happen that's happening very easily i don't need to insert the coin and wait and select just open like supermarket i can select whatever i want mm. so it's very easy for us in the office so omni chat platform i mean mobile apps continue to help uh, seamless things uh, names uh, even this pandemic time is forcing us to go to the digital so to those who are hesitant to go to digital world they are also forced to go to the um, digital world so one of the experience here is how to customer centric digital transformation i'll tell by use uh, app as an experience because how there um, all there, there was tremendous uh, software they are trying to convert the uh, experience, teaching experience previously all the business they are concentrating on schools government channels or educational sector universities but why do they went to the directly to the customer who they look at the end customer who is the customer kids who want to study kids why should they wait in front of the universities they they influence maybe i don't know i'm not part of that organization i just took because um, there will be tremendous companies i am appreciating all i just took one name to make it easy to understand that's mainly they happen so uh, now one of one another app is coming up they are telling like you download it and keep it ready for kids they if you don't want to give uh, kids internet keep it secret download it give to the kids let them study they will not uh, explore another things and maturing the kids is important 
uh, information is anywhere available everywhere if what are bad things happen nowadays it's also happened in the previous days it's not new to nothing nothing new come in this world dark or uh, any different sides everything it was there in different format in this world but how freely accessible how mature we are uh, capable of using it that's the important now educational system they are always used to tell us don't give mobiles to the kids they used to inform us regularly please don't give mobiles to the kids i told them what the I, i never understand because kids can search for good things they can they don't want to look into the mobile phone screen always they can hear it they can hear a good story or they can hear what whatever information they want they can if a nursery rhyme why should i learn and read and learn my kids are learning some of the rhymes previously i hesitated to write in my good age now i am learning because i am hearing it very nice nice voice nice clarity so uh, so now I, what school is telling please provide computer for kids also be ready with mobile for kids. You know, this digital information age, digital transformation. Age, we can't run out of this digital technology. We are all part of digital transformation. Is our topic customer centricity is on the top. Customer channels, omni channels, what channels? They are then digital transformation strategy is the next thing. But basic is how we are all adopting this technology. Companies, people. That is the agile transformation. All the companies are running behind agility. So agility is important to adopt to these technologies. Now I am developing a thing. After one year, I am ready to deliver. By the time customer uh, expectation is changed, whatever we are supposed to deliver by the time may be outdated. So now it's in the agile world. Everything agility is bringing the things fast. So we are doing this technology faster. Technology transformation is happening through agility. New business models are coming up. Digital strategy is created. Go so adapt to down. Everything is happening in the order. So, so this all I explained previous days. If any customer bad experience, it will reach up to one or two people. But it's eighty-three uh, percent of the people willing to pay uh, share their data and experience. Partially, some of them are seventy percent are willing actively to share the data in person of personalized experience. So. personalization and customization itself is a big topic so these are the technology stacks which we are uh, supporting this digital transformation a lot so cloud is one of the very uh, concentrated world this helping the computational power according to our needs even if you want to do some ml or ai there are already the models are available we can buy the models and use it we don't need to from scratch build up from our organization if i am in a textile industry if i want to give a recommendation system uh, i don't want to uh, go and build up a ml team just go and buy whichever how much you want so we can recommendation system automatically build based on that uh, so blockchain it's uh, it's dri driving the finance world but one of the customers they want it to use for uh, tracking the um, old uh, means uh, this uh, antique pieces what is the advantage of blockchain is every transaction it is uh, connected so i know from where it is happen they will create some of the old records from here onwards it is going to me from here it is going to italy come to another all that chain that antique piece is uh, like i can see all this is travel history uh, in the blockchain transaction so uh, authenticity is there so blockchain have different vision not only money transaction banking there are different vision how customers want it to utilize it how can we provide it vr ar one of the best example i have seen is vr ar is uh, when uh, once i want to book a flight ticket Uh, nowadays, uh, I have I can maximum select a seat. I don't know what kind of seat it is. How leg space is? VR AR is going to provide you. In few years, you can um, take a seat. There will be augmented or mixed reality. You can see how the seat will experience you. Is it suitable for your travel? You are traveling for long hours. You want that comfort. How suitable? You can compare different flight providers. Maybe same rate, you will get better comfort. now comfort means they are providing a drink extra or a, a meal extra no not more than that that uh, easiness that uh, flexibility 
then ai ml nltk that's part of heartbeat of this data is the whole brain then ai ml nltk is the heartbeat of this digital transformation how that is with me the cloud is providing all the transformation um, things to us all the infrastructure required for this data but ai ml nltk they that will give our beat that will give our energy to uh, proceed that will give the vision that is the difference so ml we have you try nltk i told like single click booking or uh, um, chat boards um, chat boards digital uh, mail boards even uh, understanding our language and booking the, the sites uh, so now we can in voice itself i can tell please book uh, please call my mother it will call automatically when i am driving or when i am sitting home i don't want to go and dial individually it will understand my voice and my language and do it it's a very simple example nltk have lot of uh, um, experience ml machine learning and ai have lot of things previously i told like i started my career in the uh, career in machine vision that is we are taking the images analyzing the images and understanding the quality of the product now that company is transforming to ai intelligence is taking the decision is it a real um, defect or it's the performance formation of the image has caused the issue what is the last time decision happen all this ai is giving like human implication to that field and iot connected cars even even uh, industry for resolution is mainly uh, driven by the iot all the industry for uh, all the production industries are moving to industry for resolution there is all that these technologies iot is giving a lot of in fact one of the projects in kerala itself they are uh, they are implementing this iot in all the production plants some of the government plants already implemented if there is any variation in the uh, chemical or anything that value will be pushed immediately that you are streaming data will get processed and warnings will go to the emergency system that's also advantages of iot connected cars even um, ar vr iot all together you can do lot of things means iot can be utilized for uh, even for luxury purpose one of the things we um, we suggested for the hotels is last time i went to a hotel in dubai where i uh, temperature is 32 degree okay i'm rakesh i logged into the room i use my digital card or my mobile um, mobile wise uh, locking unlocking the rooms is the new trend um so those things are happen so immediately the room temperature i set it is loaded into the system you thought i really once i rebook the hotel uh, same hotel in some other room automatically this iot got connect uh, this information is shared with uh, other same hotel chain i have booked in uh, us next year this information is there automatically my room temperature will set to 32 i can adjust it but i'm getting a comfort so comfort zone also iot is affecting even the rooms i can tell like uh, i need a, a evening uh, evening sunset move the room temperature will uh, no the room temperature and room mood everything will uh, adjust according to that and i will get a feeling of uh, uh, that that's the where industry is driving this uh, uh, this data so data visualization is very important for tracking the strategies every data is visualized and presented to the world so the customer data customer centric culture you need to write customer data so your data should be pure richer holistic data then the data should be uh, uh, protected uh, this so digital strategy that just give a high level example here digital strategy i can't define for anyone every company have their own strategy every individual have their own strategy that will go so digital transformation to customer centric digital transformation is this age we are not simply transformed and adopted the technologies so customer want seamless experience regardless of channel consider how you will digital channels you have in your company together in order to provide a simple user friendly customer experience no matter what kind of technology company is uh, hoping to implement customer must be at the 
means I have implemented a lot of uh, technology. Last, uh, I, I told an example of banking sector. They have implemented previously. They have implemented a lot of technology, but nothing is uh, really helping me or my satisfaction is not improved. Um, so then new generation banks come in, they have bring everything. We do, I don't need to take a photo and wait for them. They will come with a mobile phone, take your photo. It will get transferred automatically. My account will get created. Those kind of experience people are experiencing. Previously, if you want to get a mobile connection, I have to wait for. Uh, um, so those are the. So this is my topic. I think I have winded up in correct time. This is one our topic from my side on customer centric digital transformation. These are my references. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Uh, participants, if you have any queries, you can uh, 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 put it in the chat box. Or uh, if you want, you can unmute and you can also talk directly. And uh, for the information of uh, participants, uh, you have a feedback link given in the chat box. You can fill it out. Uh, this is for you to get a certificate as well as. I believe there is no more questions, I think. There is no questions being raised. Uh, so I'll wind up. So thank you, Mr. Rakesh, uh, for giving a wonderful session. So you had uh, uh, insight on how fast the world is changing due to this uh, digital transformation and digitalization. And uh, mentioned about latest uh, digital techniques, uh, technologies and mentioned that transformations are applied to any service should be customer centric. And uh, therefore we believe that to survive in this world, both uh, providers and customers need to adopt uh, digital technologies, which are, which are again, uh, which are, or which should be customer centric. Uh, thus we are part of digital transformation and we cannot run out of it. So that statement is 100% true. So once again, on behalf of IEEE Malabar Subsection, I thank uh, Mr. Rakesh for sparing a wonderful one hour session uh, uh, here on this platform. So I thank uh, Mr. Rakesh, thank you, thanks a lot. Thank you, Sadiq, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, participants. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I also thank, thank all the participants on behalf of IEEE Malabar Subsection for uh, attending this particular session. Thank you. Thank you.